A heat wave off the coast of Florida is sending water temperatures to unprecedented highs. While that's not a problem for some swimmers, it is a major concern for coral reefs. Corals thrive with ocean temperatures in the mid 80s, but lately they have been soaring into the 90s. Where in the world are they measuring these off the chart record ocean temperatures? Including this NOAA sensor one research scientist showed me near Miami. It's broken its daily record the past four days in a row. South Florida's abnormally warm water could put area corals on the verge of extinction. You can tell right now it's producing... Dr. Andrew Baker is a professor of marine biology and ecology at the University of Miami's Rosenstiel School. The marine heat wave is more or less throughout the Caribbean at this point. Uh, certain parts of the Caribbean, like Belize, are already bleaching and bleaching pretty severely. And Florida is where Belize was about a month ago. This is a healthy brown piece of coral. If it was to bleach, it would turn all white and could potentially die. That is what scientists are concerned about if this marine heat wave continues to build. Losing coral could be costly. Coral reefs generate billions of dollars for Florida's economy through activities like fishing and tourism, which wouldn't be possible without reefs to protect the species that rely on them. Well, we've been working for several years on ways to make corals more thermally tolerant. Engineering coral that can withstand even a five degree temperature increase in our oceans will mitigate the effects of stronger marine heat waves that are expected in the future. Corals are one of the most sensitive ecosystems to the effects of climate change. Without them, we could lose a natural defense system as healthy corals help protect our coastlines during hurricanes. And so reef restoration efforts that are ongoing right now are really taking steps to plan for climate change, to try to make sure that we restore reefs to be suitable for a future environment and not the victims of it. Ken Niedermeyer is the technical director at Reef Renewal USA. He works to restore coral reefs in the Florida Keys and is hopeful about the future. There are corals that can live in hotter water. We just have to find them and try to repopulate with them. After one year, Dr. Baker's research is hitting its initial milestones, already seeing results with corals surviving in slightly warmer temperatures. We've had a few pilot uh, experiments out there on the reefs that we've manipulated to try to make corals more thermally tolerant, and this will be a natural test of that. Not ready to throw the towel in just yet. Optimism amid record-breaking weather patterns with no immediate signs of cooling off. Derek Van Dam, CNN. Miami.